Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over how to make simulator pets, uh, or any pets really, whatever type of game you want to use them in, but we're going to be covering the cube pets today uh, for two reasons. A couple people have asked, not too many, uh, but I think there's a lot of people that want to know that just haven't found the channel yet. So I think this would be a good opportunity to grow, and of course, since a lot of people want to know how to do this, uh, it'll also help a lot of people. So before we get too far in, could you smash that like button? Uh, likes are cute. I like cute things. You know, we've been through this, guys. We've been through this. Now, what I'm going to do is start out with a cube, and you could have a straight-up square, but, but I'm going to press Control b which uh, will bevel it, and then if you scroll on your mouse wheel, it'll give you kind of those more vertices or more, like, edges, you know, so it'll be more circular. So, uh, I don't know how, like you know rounded they want these but i do a very low poly style so i'm gonna do something like this and i think that'll be good We've got like four lines right here so we scrolled four times check that out here's our base our body if you will okay our body for our pet now we're gonna need to do some feet which i think oh keep in mind i've also never made pets before but looking at them they don't seem too too hard so i'm gonna do this for our feet here's the body I'm going to scale it down, go into my orthographic mode or whatever it's called. Orth orthographic, yeah, that, that's nice. Front orthographic. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go into wireframe mode by pressing Z and then going over to this side and go to face select. So back into this, face select, and press B on my keyboard. And I'm going to just grab these top faces. What this is going to allow your boy to do, I'll go back into solid just so you can see better. I'm going to scale these in and this is going to be like that leg shape, okay? And then we might drop this down a little bit uh just you know something overall like this good little leg now we can press a and move that to where it needs to go there's gonna be four legs of course because you know most animals have four legs i don't want to say most because it's not i don't know the science boys but you know what you know what i'm trying to say so now we're gonna get these into the corners i'm gonna match them up this is personal preference by the way i'm gonna match them up with the corners of this and then leave just like i don't know a little bit of space like this guys so pretty good we're gonna do shift d which duplicates it click to unselect and uh and then move this one over to here just make sure you get the spacing as close as you can now we're gonna click on this and press l to select it shift d again and now this spacing will be the same and you just got to drag both of them back just like this guys these will be the legs to our pet okay now for this commission that i have for these pets they need i believe six pets i'm not going to build all of them today i just want to show you guys kind of how i'm going to go about building them and hopefully it helps you so let's go back into object mode now our feet are one object and our body is one object we could texture these we very well could, but I wouldn't recommend overly texturing pets for Roblox for just a couple of reasons. The main one being particles and adding neon. Pets are such a big game in any like development or anything like that. So I wouldn't add um, the texture because you can't do neons underneath a texture. And particles, if you make everything one piece, you can only put like a particle on like the whole mesh, not for example, the wings or the horns. Say you wanted fire on the horns and not the whole pet. Those are just a few reasons why I would say keep things separate pieced. Let them color it in studio. And uh, also faces, I don't draw. I'm not an artist, so we won't be doing faces. Uh, but, you know, that's that's a whole different thing. Maybe I'll learn how to sometime. If that's something you guys really want to see, let's get this thing to like... I, don't, I haven't been looking at the likes. Let's go for 100. No, I don't know. Guys, if you want to see it, I'll try, okay? <laughs> but I'm not going to upload a video if I'm actually garbage. So, here's our base, guys. This is our base, and what we got to do with this is just edit it into the pets that they want. So, let me go ahead and check out the list real quick and see which one we're going to do. All right, so from this list, I think the easiest one to do is going to be a unicorn, all right? Now, from, uh, from my imagination, just first thing I think of, of course, a unicorn has that horn, which we might texture just because it's a rainbow. So we'll see about that. And then like a mane, like a, like some hair. So let me go ahead and shade smooth all of this. Shade smooth. Grab these guys. Shade smooth. Already looks a ton better. And now let's go in our object mode, which we are. Shift A. And I think I'm going to do a cube. I want to start with this, like the mane, okay? Like, like how horses have that. Like, I don't know. This one's particularly off my imagination. So 
I don't know if it's overly going to be <laughs> the, the most unicorn-like. And if they don't like it, of course, I'll be redoing it. Because your boy don't play when it comes to the monies, all right? I be grinding. If they don't like it, I'm going to redo it. So we got this, all right? Now we need to add some variation. A little bit of, like, wave, maybe. Uh, let's grab our line select mode. Grab these top lines. Just like this. Nice. We'll grab this back one, too and this side one and these ones over here we're gonna add a bit of curve okay give these a nice bevel perfect so grab all of that and then control b and that's gonna bevel things all right now this doesn't need to be as beveled uh, i think less even like something like this could definitely work out so we'll do that and then i'm gonna press control r for a loop cut and scroll a couple times just to get a few loops in here and i'm gonna do the same for the back right here control r scroll a bit and uh, i think that will do the trick now let's grab our lines i'm gonna grab uh, this guy and i'm gonna move it out a little bit and then grab this guy move it out a little bit and then this one on the bottom uh right here i'm gonna move it okay yeah i'm gonna actually move this out a little bit too so just giving it a little bit of like bumps and stuff i think that's what i'm gonna do uh i don't want to go to the top view like that maybe like a little angle there we go uh every other one right here let's click drag those guys up a little bit uh yeah i haven't ever made pets and i've never definitely made a unicorn but you know what we're looking pretty good so this thing be like just colored hair or something like that probably like pink or blue like a nice you know unicorn color and we could make this a lot softer as well let's shade smooth this should this should do it for for what we're going for here so right there now of course it's not a unicorn without a horn so let's go ahead add in a mesh while we're in object mode so it's different and we could just add in a cone as you can see oh gosh uh, okay, I have to re-add in the cone because once you move an object, you can't edit the uh, the vertices. So this, uh, you know, 32 is way too high. We'll try like 8. That would probably do us justice. Yeah, 8 will be okay. And we're going to scale this. We're going to press S and then X. Nope, I always press the wrong one. S and then Z to scale around this axis, just like this. And then we're going to shrink this guy down. Uh, we could go into our side of you, just like this. And uh, give this a rotate, something like this. Get it a little, a little sticking out forward, you know, a little bit like that. There we go. And then probably up a little bit. Just make this a nice, nice bold statement, okay? I'm a unicorn and I'm proud. All right. So I think this core shape is good for the unicorn. Of course, it'll look a lot better when we go and texture it or put anything on in studio. We're gonna make the horn bigger because it's kind of like it's a unicorn like that's what people know of it's the first thing i thought of but there we go guys here's our shape for our unicorn so we're gonna select everything just like that we could actually delete our camera in light you don't have to do this but i'm gonna do it just because we could delete the camera in light press a that'll select everything and we will go to file export as fbx i'm gonna find a file on my desktop or actually i'm gonna make a new one since this is a commission let me just new folder um okay pets calm my bad i just like to stay organized all right guys so pet calm and we're gonna click on selected objects right here guys oh gosh uh selected objects make sure this is clicked and it'll bring out everything and i'm gonna name this guy right here unicorn and export now i'm gonna go into studio show you guys how to import it and do the colors all right guys so now that we are in studio what we're gonna do is go to view if you don't have this open over here and open up the asset manager there's gonna be this little upload button type thing right here and then you are just gonna go find the folder or find wherever you put your fbx file on your computer mine's right here unicorn double clicked it and i'm just gonna leave everything how it is and click apply all now here's our parts of the unicorn they're gonna get imported into roblox studio and then uh i hate the new import menu because if i close this okay okay now i have these <laughs> so click the top one shift and then click the bottom one right click insert with location and as you can see we have a little pet now you might be bro this is huge what are you doing you can scale it down guys no worries so we're gonna go like this very like ghost gray no we're gonna go pearl this is a unicorn guys nothing to be played around with for the feet we're gonna do like uh i don't know pink i guess pink's cool and then we can make this as well maybe this could be like a blue something like that and then this could be um a green no a pink i don't know he didn't tell me what colors to do and then we'll make this for example neon all right so as you can see 
it's looking pretty cool and we're gonna scale this all down control G boom scale boom and look at this guys here is our unicorn and the good part we made all these separate pieces say you wanted this a little taller for some reason or like or you wanted a shark fin i don't know but there is our unicorn guys i am gonna go ahead and make these smooth plastic the things that i don't have as neon it does look a lot better smooth plastic look at that nice soft beautiful pet this can probably go no, no, no. We're going to keep that how it was. But there's a unicorn, guys. Hopefully, this tutorial helped you make pets in Blender, importing them into Studio. Let's go. Uh, I do have other tutorials on my channel for texturing. So if that's something you're into and want to learn, definitely go check them out. Pretty much all of my tutorials have texturing in them. But since this is also for a commission, I won't be texturing it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you have a great day. Later.